we are back for day number six of how much VR can I gain in a single week. Today's video, we're going to be using the bitty buggy. I've been kind of going through all the mana combos. Use Mr. Scooty earlier in the series. And of course, Mr. Scooty, bitty buggy have the exact same stats. The hitbox is slightly different. But honestly, I think I prefer the bitty buggy. I know a lot of people do complain about like the outside drifting bikes and kind of how they feel weird. I think I agree. I just simply prefer using the bitty buggy a little bit more than Mr. Scooty. So we're going to be rocking with that today. And I found a very strange room. The room average is about what my VR is, which is around 27.5 thousand. There's only like six players. I've actually played a couple of races before this thinking that maybe the lobby would fill. It didn't. Um, the races have been fun. They've been kind of unusual though because of the fact that there's so few people in the room that you kind of have to play a little bit differently. You're going to be pulling different items than you normally would. Yeah, like a fifth place triple mushroom pull. Super strange, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Everyone in here is very good, of course. We're back in the worldwide. It's took a little bit of a break in yesterday's video. We're going to see if we can get some wins. And I actually was just warming up with this track earlier, so hopefully I can drive a little bit better. Although I just kind of forgot about going for the shortcut there. We're just going to hold these rooms for now, though. That's okay. Yeah, the big thing I struggle with on this track specifically is the beginning section. And I don't know, that red's coming for me, isn't it? It is. They have triple reds in the back. Maybe they booed them. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I have like no coins. That's a problem in this track for sure. The other problem is just the beginning section, kind of like when you're going into the water here. You kind of basically don't want to trick and you want to drift and it always throws me off on how to do it properly. Like I'm like barely hitting this sponge here and then instead of tricking into the underwater section you just want to hold your mini turbo as well which always gets me. Uh, but yeah that's a really good pull. Let's just chain everything. There's probably not going to be a shock though. That's the thing right in these smaller rooms there has not been a shock yet. So hopefully there is one here. We're just going to go for the double wow we barely get it. That was super risky. You know, I'm going to play it safe. We're going to go down low, seeing if I can pass the pack here. And it looks like I will barely pass one player and finish in fourth. Another close finish and a plus zero for the second race in a row. So we have gained a couple players up to nine, I believe. Yeah, that looks like that is correct. And these rooms have been taking forever to load. Someone definitely has a really slow loading time and it's holding us back. Uh, but like I said... I got plus zero there, second race in a row. I didn't record them, but I did play a couple races before the video started. And now the lobby is finally starting to fill. That was the idea, because this lobby has a lot of potential, but we just didn't have a lot of players. And I'm glad that there are more players, because the last couple of races, as we're getting bumped, the slipstream didn't help, and we're getting lag trailed. Yeah, basically those last races, I don't think there's a single shock or a single blue shell in three races, which is kind of insane, but it really makes sense considering there's only six players. The item let's a little bit different, a little bit weird, in my opinion, just simply not as good as playing with more racers. Um, obviously, the game is designed to have, you know, 12 players. The items are kind of balanced and determined around that number. But when you play with very few players, it just doesn't really feel like the same game and de definitely doesn't play as well, in my opinion. And green shells everywhere is we are saving this room for the shortcut. Maybe I should have saved another one. Oh no, I actually bonked the wall there and completely lost my line anyways. Oh but yeah, we definitely want to try to get up to the front here as that has kind of been the case where if you can get an early lead, that player has typically won the races. And we're getting some more shrooms. Let's go ahead and try to get some coins. Okay, I got like one of those. Go for the double here. Watch out for that player. And wait, accidentally threw that. That's going to bounce off the wall and go like completely backwards. We actually broke each other's greens there. And I think I just like smart bounced them somehow. I don't even know what's happening. They're going to hit us with the boomerang. I'm going to have to go wide for the single. That player has a crazy eight too. They're going to detonate the bomb. We barely don't get hit. What is happening right now? There's fire. There's like three stars. I'm going to go really wide. Wait, no one passed me there. I thought I'd get past like two or three players. There's finally a blue shell. I'm throwing on my lines. There's another star. We're going to leg trail that player. Got to watch out for this daisy. It gets stolen. I'm going to smart bounce myself. I knew that was going to happen as soon as I missed the daisy player. And yeah, we're just getting hit by everything, trying to avoid everything. It's been disaster. There's like six green shells there. And yeah, there's probably not going to be a late shock for me here. We're just going to be in a bottom spot. It looks like, wait, can that player red shell the Mario player? They're not going to. Wait, they did finally, and we'll pass both of them actually. So I'll recover sixth place in only a minus three. Yoshi Valley. We're up to 11. I thought we lost some players. I guess we gained some at the last second. 
and that makes me want to bag. I was thinking about maybe front running as this kind of is a track that's more in the middle. You can kind of have good results either way. But yeah, we're gonna do some bagging, of course. I love bagging on this track, and I normally do fairly well with it. You know, all things considered. Because there really isn't like too many shortcuts. We can leg trail that player. No, we can throw our star. We can just wait here on the set and let everyone kind of get ahead of us. Okay, let's get some coins. Yeah, there's really not too many shortcuts except for the ending shortcut. But for some reason, bagging always seems to work out pretty well on this track. I'm going to see what we can do. I think I'm down maybe like a couple of VR for the episode already because as you guys saw, like I got a plus zero. And I think I only lost a couple of VR for that last race. All right, blue shell is out. That's a weird sight in a room like this one. It has that's like the only the second blue shell I've seen in so many races. What a weird pull in eighth place box. We got the star in the pocket. And do I want to catch up? Do I want to hang on? We got to watch out for that bomb. I'm just going to slow down and stop. It didn't work. I guess that is decided for us that we can go ahead and do some more bagging here as that player kind of forced our hand. OK, we get another star. That is great. We'll just keep chaining our stars here and get another bottom box. Did I just hit that player with the star even though I wasn't even close to them? I think I did. Yeah, we get another star. Oh no, that's a banana. I was focused on the player to my right on Mr. Scooty there and not getting starred by them. And I just went right into that banana. And a little bit of tunnel vision. Yeah, the pack is really close right now. I think what I'm going to do here is actually slow down and stop and bag and get a couple items. Okay, that is not terrible having the bill in the pocket because we should be able to chain it into the next set and I only have seven coins here I'm just gonna bill right away wait I actually collected like three coins instantly that is perfect is there gonna be a shock here late can we get something good okay I was really hoping for a star in the pocket that will have to do gotta watch out for these greens maybe come back okay they're not wait I'm in fifth was that a good idea to chain there I don't know everyone has green shells I'm just gonna play defensive until the shortcut and we can go ahead and do that we can red shell that player and somehow I just went all the way up into third Basically got the perfect items there at the end. That was incredible. And I'll probably get a good gain, a plus 15. Fisted Mansion. Hopefully we can get a shroom off the first set, one of those shroom start tracks where it's okay to kind of be in the mid pack and I just missed the box completely there. So, well, never mind. We're gonna pass play like the whole lobby. But yeah, I think a lot of the players that joined up um, from like the six person room I had earlier are actually in the low 20 K. So I kind of was surprised to only see a plus 15 for a third. I thought I would've got a little bit more a little bit unfortunate but hopefully this room continues to give us some good races and i will stick with it because so far it's been great um i'm just looking to of course gain a lot of vr as well in the process gotta watch out for these greens coming back okay they're actually not to my surprise see i'm so used to players always backing and spamming items that when people don't it just catches me off guard i'm kind of like wait what is happening right now we can go ahead and save this okay there's green shells there's fire there's more green shells and I think we're alive somehow, but yeah, I was gonna say, save this room for the cut, of course. We're up in third, eight coins, more fire. We can avoid it. That was a super horn. We got really lucky there and just barely evaded that as well. So super close calls already. We can go ahead and get up to 10 coins here and hopefully run a little bit. So I go, I think I'm just gonna go for the mini turbo shot and kind of avoid the boxes since I already have a red shell here. You can kind of like charge up a purple. Actually, I don't think I got the purple there. Uh, but yeah, normally, at least in my experience, I just completely miss the box when I do that. So unless I need a box, then it's probably not a good idea to go for it. And do they have a red? I'm just going to chain at the set. Did I block it? I don't know. I kind of panicked when I saw the red indicator and just immediately used my coin there. Uh, but good thing is that there is another double item set here. And while they've set triple greens, I cannot see with the way the anti-gravity is the angle. Okay, they do pass us there. And I'm just going to break a little bit here because they do have the super horn. Give them some space, of course. And oh no, I use my coin just for the boo to perfectly come and steal my green shell. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for the double here and play it safe. What do we get? Ooh, a red shell mushroom. And oh no, I'm going to try to use my protection, but I just cannot. As the indicator came up really quick, I wasn't looking behind me there. And wait, they get hit on the line. I'm going to get passed by one person. I'll drop down a fifth. Not a bad way to end it and a plus three and we're back on gba mario circuit I'm gonna do some bagging of course as always on this track last time i think it was in yesterday's video actually i almost was able to blue myself on this track brought the blue shell all the way up into like second place at the very end of the race but could not make it happen who knows maybe that will happen again in this race 
and hopefully we can get up to a top spot. I've basically been getting like four, five, six every single race, which honestly is very typical for these worldwides uh, when the competition is fierce, of course. So we're going to see if we can maybe get a little bit more luck, maybe play a little bit better and just simply try to get better positions. Go ahead and wait a second here. That's okay. That player bumped me. And then we can go ahead and get this set here. What else can we get? The single shroom and the crazy. Okay, I was going to say maybe the bagging rules are in play, but I think it was just the fact that I happened to pull a single shroom there. That is okay. What else can we get? We get another star. That's a really lucky chain. Crazy eight into star and we can use another star here. We can keep going into the double. Is there going to be a shock? There really hasn't been a lot of shocks. Oh wait, I do pull another blue shell. Uh, but this time it is only like lap two here. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit. That's a piranha plant. What the heck? Why do they have a piranha plant behind me? There's fire. Wait, the blue just went off. I'm already in like fifth place, fourth place, third place. Just like that. That player is triple greens and I get hit. Well, everyone has triple greens around me apparently. Maybe that's better that I'm back a little bit. Gotta watch it for that bomb. I'm just going to play it really safe here. Go really wide. Make sure I get the double box and then go for it. We get the four mushroom pull. That is just what we are looking for. That player got hit. And of course, there's a random green that hits me. Why does that always happen on this track? There's like seven more greens and another middle spot. What's new? Another minus three. Athens dash for the next race. Yet another race where I finish in a middle spot. And it really came down to the wire once again. Like if I pull a star there, for example, I probably don't get it by the green shell. And I cruise into a third. But unfortunately, we pulled the shrooms. We got hit by that green shell. There's like five more greens as well. So luckily, I didn't get hit by even more. But yeah, it did not end the way I was hoping. As I did make sure to slow down there for that ninth place box, which came in clutch. But we still got taken out. And yeah, I chained my red there. We got hit by red. We're just going to play it from the back. Try to coin up here. And hopefully not get too far behind. As this is, you know, a better running track. And I don't think I mentioned it yet, but I am once again playing on the Pro Controller today. As, as you guys know, I've been playing on the GameCube controller more and more. But recently, I've kind of gotten the urge to go back to the Pro Controller, and I used it in yesterday's video, and it went really well. It feels way more comfortable, in my opinion, since I'm so used to it. And honestly, I feel like there's just not a lot of tracks where I need to motion glide. Like, I can still vector glide without motion controls just fine for like 90% of the tracks, it seems like. I really don't know if the GameCube controller is actually worth it if that's the case. And oh no, I used the blooper and then the triple shells got stolen. If I wait another second, they would have stolen my blooper. That would have been funny. Wait, that player just tore in the blue for some reason? Are they teaming? What is happening? There's like three reds behind me, of course. That was weird. A fourth place player just randomly warning the blue shell there. What is even happening right now? I was trying not to get lag trail. Let's just go for a couple items. I think first is gone because of that, actually. Yeah, they have a huge lead. I'm just going to play for the box over here, and then I just completely miss it. I threw um, just because I was thinking I would get another good pull because first is so far gone. Uh, but hopefully I can just hold my spot here. I might get past by like one, maybe two players if they have shrooms or something. But it looks like we are good for the third. Finally, a podium spot. No, wait, the fourth. Someone in a ghost passed me. I didn't even see them. I don't even know what happened. And the plus eight. <laughs> And we have TikTok clock for the next race. I think my webcam is actually having a hard time focusing right now. Okay, there we go, finally. Uh, but yeah, I watched back that last race, the end at least. I literally have no idea where that daisy came from. I did not see them at all. They just kind of appeared in third place. I didn't see them on the map. I didn't see them on the track. What even happened? I'm really confused. Maybe someone in the comments will let me know. Unfortunately, we got bumped off there already. We're going to see if we can recover get up to a good spot and hopefully finally get a podium spot i thought we had a podium spot there last race but we just barely didn't and i'm gonna shroom into that banana that is tragic let's actually go ahead and chain properly there try to get some more coins here and try to catch up as first and second are already gone completely so we're gonna see what we can do we're playing this one from the back hopefully get some good items here All right, what can we get? We have the triple shrooms, not terrible, not great either. Keep chaining those into the next set. Gotta wait for that Yoshi player. It just kind of appeared. Okay, that's a little bit better. Getting this star so we can chain this into the set. And yeah, we're just gonna hope for the best really at this point. The pack is a little bit ahead of us. 
We do have 10 coins now, though, so anything is possible. It's going to be a shock. I feel like there really hasn't been a lot of shocks in this room yet at all. Is that a red shell behind me? I guess it was. No, it wasn't. Okay, that was from this dry bones player ahead of us. And I think I'm going to start now. I saw that player. I got a wrong way drift pro controller moment. I guess that's the big downside with the pro controller, of course, is getting those wrong way drifts. And I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get the double there, so I just went for the single. I actually got the double anyways. But we're still in ninth. Yeah, we're fighting for a better spot, but I just cannot make any progress. Blue is out. Let's go wide. We avoided it. We almost got started. We avoided that too. They get blued right there in front of us. We get randomly started. Wait, I'm in third place. I think I was in second place when I got started. What the heck just happened? I just passed the whole lobby on like one corner. I will take it in the plus 16. And we're back on Mount Wario for the next race. I still don't really know what happened. I do know that a random Yoshi teleported in front of me and happened to star me. So I actually could have got second there maybe if that didn't happen. But yeah, we're going to see if we can front run this one. We get the early shroom pull. Let's see if we can get ahead of the pack and hopefully never look back as we were playing catch up that whole race. But I guess it did work out in the end, actually, now that I say that. I think that's what a green shell behind me. So a red shell, got to watch out for that. Went a little bit wide there, actually. And yeah, we're going to get spam with a green shell, of course. And I'm going to do some bagging. I feel like there's always like an early shock and early blue shell on this track. We're just going to take it easy and play it from the back for now. Not really worry about it. Try to make the comeback later. See if that will work out for us. Like I said last video, I kind of have been experimenting with bagging on different tracks just to see if it's even possible. And, you know, a lot of it just comes down to luck, of course. But some tracks are actually a lot better than you would think. And normally, like I said, there is a blue shell or a shock by now, and there is neither, it looks like. So maybe I was wrong to drop out there. Uh, but either way, I'll be able to get some more coins here and catch up a little bit. Go ahead and do some hops through the off road. Okay, there's the shock, and I'm actually not going to be able to chain at the set. So that is a little bit unfortunate, and I'm going to go right into that tree as well. So that wasn't great. And then, of course, there's fire. I'm in, like, what, 10th place, and 11th has fire. So yeah, that was actually, like, worst case scenario there. Everything that just happened. We have one coin in 11th at the start of lap three. A little bit unlucky there. But we're going to see if we can make something happen. There probably won't be another shock as there was just one. I feel like there's almost never two shocks on this track. I'm going to head and go for the double, of course. See what we can get. Hopefully something good. A note just four shrooms as always. Basically just pulled shrooms this whole race as well. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and slow down. For the double, we do go ahead and get it, but we're not in a good spot with one coin here. Like, unless the whole lobby gets taken out, literally nothing is going to happen, and I'm just going to stay in 11th. Um, okay, a couple players do get taken out. I'll take an 8th place after that race. Not too bad at all, and only the minus 12. DK Jungle, one of my favorite tracks recently. Got a nice full room and some good competition, but I do feel like overall this has just been the most typical worldwide room I've ever played in, where... Basically, everything is kind of expected to happen, does happen. I basically end up with like an average of a middle spot. The luck kind of always evens out. Uh, but we have been able to get some good races here and there, so definitely cannot complain. The Biddy Buggy has been awesome. As I said, I really do enjoy using the Biddy Buggy. I remember, I think it was like a year ago after Wave 4 dropped, a lot of people were kind of talking about, is Yoshi Teddy better? Is Yoshi Biddy Buggy better? And now it's kind of funny to see, you know, that we have Mr. Scooty versus the teddy buggy instead of the bitty buggy versus the teddy buggy so really some things never change that is a perfect bomb and how did it not detonate until the very end there that is crazy but yeah like i've been saying we end up getting hit off there and then we end up getting hit by another item pretty typical nothing surprising i'm surprised that fireball didn't hit me actually and this player is gonna slow down to try to boomerang me i'm not really sure what they were doing we actually get the eighth place star which means we're far enough behind that we're getting good pulls which is definitely not a good thing how far back we are. But yeah, we're gonna, I think I might go wide for the coins here. Yeah, no one else took them. We can get up to seven coins, seventh place. Have the star, I'll hopefully save this for the chain at the set. And of course, a perfectly timed green shell. That player actually had shrooms, they must have burned them and then used the green. So not much I can do there, except for hope that we can get a, maybe a shock dodge here. They have the bill. And that player, what, what are they doing? I don't even know. They're like, stop there with the piranha plant. Yeah, we are just struggling once again to get through the pack. Hopefully I can get a good item in ninth place here. Gotta watch out for these bananas coming back. And okay, no, we just get another single shroom. Maybe I'll save this though. 
And we get lag trailed by that player's bananas in the air. I super bounce over them and then we still get lag trailed anyways. That is super unfortunate. We get some more shrooms here. Gotta watch out for the bullet bill. Take a little bit of a glider strat there. And yeah, this is probably one of the worst tracks for like the ending in terms of getting comboed. So we really are just gonna hope for the best here and hope that nothing goes wrong. But that's really, I feel like, a lot to ask for on this track as there's so much item spam on this little tunnel section. But wait, literally nothing happened there for the first time ever, maybe? A sixth place, another middle spot. Not really surprised. And we'll get the minus two. Ribbon Road. I'm feeling a good race. We have not gotten a first, I believe, in today's video. A couple of third place finishes, maybe like a fourth place or two. Lots of fifth and sixth places, very typical, which I find is funny. It went from basically a very unusual worldwide to only like six of us to the most typical worldwide because there's 12 players every race seems to play how it normally plays and we end up getting you know a middle spot basically every race but yeah we're in first already i'm gonna just play it safe with the strats here of course i'm gonna go for the shortcut and i'm gonna fail but pretty typical i feel like this happened last video and okay we're gonna get bumped off again not surprised but yeah i was gonna say i don't know if it was last video or the video before that but i feel like i failed shortcut lap one and then nailed it lap two and three so maybe it's a sign of good things to come we get these coins we can and we're already in what 11th am i in last right now yeah i actually think i am in last place we're gonna see if we can get some good items here of course keep chaining our coins hopefully there's a shock there's been like no shocks today it is very strange again like last couple of videos there's been a lot of shocks a lot of dodges a lot of target shocks but today it's just been like the complete opposite i feel like there's been literally no shocks at all and it is kind of crazy go ahead and throw that blue shell we're gonna go ahead and use our star and i'm just gonna play it safe because i'm gonna star. i can never do shortcuts when i'm in a star i always just go way off the track unfortunately i missed the chain there and we got this single but we do have the bill and we get target shocked i was literally spamming the button and i could not use my bill super unlucky there terrible timing but hopefully we can catch up. Can we pull another bill maybe to help us out? Now we get the triple shrooms. Gonna watch it for this player's bill behind us. We are just once again in a terrible spot. I'm gonna throw on my lines there too. There's really not a, like I can do at this point. Has I was super bad timing. We get this star. Wait, that player actually fell off. I'm not gonna be able to take the shortcuts here. I don't wanna go off the track again. But yeah, like I said, we're just gonna hope for the best at this point because it is late in the race. We're in eighth place. We get the shrooms. Yeah, hopefully we just don't get hit by anything and maybe can recover a couple spots. I will be able to. There's a second shock to my surprise and I'll finish in seventh. Not that great, all things considered. Another middle spot and we'll see what we can get for VR gains or losses and the minus five. And we're back on Waluigi Stadium. I was actually just practicing this one too and had some good runs today. I actually set a new personal best for my shroomless time. Talking about how I was practicing with squeaky clean sprint. I feel like I'm much better at this track, all things considered. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can do well. Of course, I was in first last race and then I just threw. Um, but of course, things just didn't work out after that. So hopefully I can stay in first this time and never look back. But yeah, we're already up in first place. It really did not take long. We're gonna see, like I said, if we can hold on this time and never look back, as I haven't really even gotten the chance to run, I feel like in today's video and oh no i got a wrong way drift again that's been happening so much pro controller moment for sure but yeah definitely didn't miss that when i was using game controller and of course there's a blue shell already it did not take long at all we barely even a lap in first and we're already getting blued out but we actually have a little bit of a lead and that fireball is at the worst time possible yeah i was gonna say only second place was kind of right there with us so we're actually still in fourth somehow which is nice a pretty solid shroomless cut there. Hopefully we can get some good pulls here. Actually, why am I still holding this coin? Probably could have chained that like a while ago. Watch out for the star behind us. There's a red shell. Wait, it didn't come for us. We're alive for now. Gotta watch out for this star. I'm gonna slow down a little bit here and make sure to chain at the double. Why oh, that red shell passed us too? What is happening in this room? And I'm just gonna use that shroom to get my protection out, honestly. And we're gonna get greened in the air through our triple bananas off the track. You really can't make this up. And just like that, we're down in ninth place. Let's go wide for some boxes. I have no coins. I'm going to get built. I didn't even see a bill indicator. What is happening right now? We are in such a good spot in first just for the blue shell to start like a chain of 
events and just like that we're in like 10th place it's kind of a weird like wrong way drift into the shortcut that kind of worked out for me honestly but i had the shrooms anyways i'm gonna fail on the chain wait we get the bullet bill i'm just gonna use it after this corner let's go now and just hope for the best it's gonna be like a late shock for us here we're in sixth place take me around the corner at least oh we get the boo in the pocket too can we steal something good we steal the triple greens. It's not going to be enough. We're just too far behind everybody. And big surprise, another sixth place in the plus three. One final race on Piranha Plant Cove after a pretty painfully average session. I feel like I've just been getting sixth place every single race. And I'm up like 18 VR, which I guess is better than being down VR. It just does not feel good to get an average spot like every single time and basically gain like minimal VR. Unfortunately, got bumped a little bit there into the shortcut. I feel like it's been a long time since I've actually played this track. I just realized like I don't even know when the last time I played this was. Maybe it just never comes up for me. What is that pull in second place already? That is crazy. Go ahead and leg trail that player. Go ahead and back some more shells. And I think I'll chain for the double at this set as well. And I probably should have started a drift there. I feel like I never do this shortcut properly where you're actually supposed to start a drift. I normally just kind of like hover around the corner. We do have the shroom there, which is nice. But yeah, we're keeping up. I feel like I'm not great at this track, but not terribly either. Definitely one of the more technical tracks in the game, if I do say so myself. And there's a pretty crazy ultra shortcut. Shout out to uh, JP Givener, who made a short today at the time I'm recording this video about this really cool shortcut. I think it's like after this next section and it basically cuts off like a giant corner. It's crazy how much time it saves. I really don't know how to do it still, but I have seen him do it quite a bit. Wait, we have the shroom. Do I go for the ultra cut on the next corner here? I don't know. Is it worth it? Okay, no, it's actually not here. Maybe it was already earlier. I think maybe I missed it. Yeah, I think it was a little bit earlier on the shortcut. I actually took the second one. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So I was just a little bit confused on the layout. There's a little bit of a shortcut there I took. Probably not very well, but yeah, we're still in second. So really not much has happened this race. I haven't really pulled any red shells to throw at first. We haven't really been able to catch up that way. And as soon as I say that, we get the double reds. No, we're just going to throw them. Never mind. It's going to get booed and we're going to get red shelled. What are the chances? That's just kind of how it normally goes in these rooms. Decided to be a little bit aggressive and then we get booed anyways and it doesn't matter. Yeah, first has a huge lead. I should be able to get a really good pull from this next box because of that actually, even though I am in sixth place and we get the triple red shells and that player has the red behind me that's the blue shell and i think we just can red out this player maybe and of course they get stolen that always happens to me whenever i get booed once i get booed twice i feel like that happens literally every video at this point and i'll lose big surprise one spot and no way finish in sixth place how many times have i finished in sixth place this is actually insane and wow a plus zero of course that's going to do it for today's video. We are going to finish here with a gain of 20, which honestly isn't too surprising given the fact that I feel like I literally finish in sixth place every single race. Had a good race, finish in sixth, had a bad race, finish in sixth, or at least like around sixth place, like fifth or seventh, sometimes fourth. Very average, like painfully average the way today's races turned out so unlike the last couple of videos i'm gonna end it here a little bit earlier but either way hopefully you guys enjoyed today's session and make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you have not already thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video